secret vault here in Bristol and we're going to check out what's known as the observatory to go down some steps into the, the cliff face and you can actually walk out in front of the cliff face on a little on a little steps so we're going to see God, looks like I've cracked my lens there literally looks like I have cracked my lens. Have I cracked my lens? Wow, that's weird. That looked like a line. It was just light. I thought I'd cracked my lens then. Oh my god. It's a weird like line. It's like I couldn't erase it with my thumb cleaning it. So anyway, yeah. Right, we've got this seat. Allegedly people have been Okay, mate, I'm just going to go because I'm just about to go in the uh, the place and... Hi, right, mate. Yeah, nice one. I'll catch you in a bit. Cheers. Bye. Bye-bye. Um, wouldn't that be funny getting in the tree building that people have maybe allegedly been tortured in? That'd be funny, wouldn't it? So, I'm going to check out the... Uh... Check out the observatory, which is, voila, this lovely little place here. They've also got a camera obscura up in the roof of this, which I wouldn't mind having a look at. You can actually see it on the top there. So, we'll see what they say. And there's the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Oh, I am. and upstairs. Oh, there's nothing in that room down there. So we've got to go up onto this roof. Oh, this is the garden bit. That's quite nice. Museum. 
Also. Hello. So we haven't had to. Let's just go in and see what's happening. Oh, appears to be locked. So when they say the entrance is up on top, what they mean is it isn't. So I don't know how you get in there. Maybe it's not open today. get up there. Oh. Hiya. Hello. Um, it says the entrance for the observatory is on the top floor and I went up there but the door's locked so I don't know oh, if it's... Oh yeah, no it's not. It's around the other side of... For that. And brilliant, thank you. Thank you. This is open seven days a week. Yeah. Giant's Cave adults £2.50 and the camera obscura is £2.50. sort of see whether or not they're going to let us in. We'll, we'll see what happens. Right, so. the on the side. Yes. Ooh, nice. Thank you. Nice little area that you come into. Hello there. Hiya. Am I allowed to go and film in the in the things? Would you mind? Really? You don't you don't mind? <laughs> no. You you see my channel, have you? No, I didn't. You didn't. Oh, oh well. But she's going to let me anyway. Oh, well, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, thanks. So apparently you're about to tackle 130 steep and slippery steps in confined spaces. So not for the faint of heart. Well here we go. Better turn this on to non-flicker. Well, so I, I guess we don't go in through this one, even though I want to. It's gonna be here then. So, whoa. I'll take my I'm going to take my hat off, but, oh yeah, this is the, the Giant's Cave, and we've got um, an old steps there, it looks like. Looks like there used to be a steps there, but maybe not in use anymore. So I wonder if they put the ceiling in up there. It looks like that's been put in recently, so maybe it used to sort of spiral up through the whole of the building in the past. That's interesting. Wow, there you go. We're going to be going down there in a second. So, i got to get my light on, I suppose. And a uh, nice bit of, nice bit of stone there. So. Whoa. A little bit of a uh, old sewage pipe, perhaps. Now this is properly steep. This is properly steep. Look how much it goes down. Yeah, so now anyone who's watched the channel before will know that I went out onto the Clifton Suspension Bridge and I pointed back at, at this area. And you've got to watch your head here. This is like uh, 
just give you an example. So you've got to look. If I go here, I'd hit my head. So you've got to duck down, duck down, and you've got to secure secure gate here. And wow, this looks interesting. Got some people coming here. <laughs> Oops, I'll get out of your way. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. I'm just enjoying watching you looking looking knackered. Thank you. Cheers. All right. So this is going down, and it's actually sloped floors as well. These aren't straight. These are these are going down at um, let's say sort of that angle. So you could easily slip. Although it's not slippy, luckily, but uh, yeah, so you can see, see the way we just come in there, wow, so here we go, wow, it's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, this really does go down, but it's very well maintained, I mean this is very well maintained and there's no cracks, Whoa, do you hear that door? Was that a door slamming? Very low thud. So, here we go. Whoa, look at this. That, that, that better not be a nuclear bomb going off outside because uh, <laughs> probably in one of the safest areas of Bristol right now. Look at that, that's properly steep. That's, that's straight and level, and that's down. So, you have to duck down and check this out. So, oh. so let's check this out then. Oh. I'm gonna try to concentrate on feet as well as filming. Oh, hang on. So, why is it going bibble, 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 bibble? Right, might be better. So watch your head, duck down. This will catch your head. So you really got to squeeze down here. Whoa. Being tall doesn't help really here. Now, after the squeeze, it smells a bit like, uh, smells a bit weird here. I'll just say, oh, I've just hit my head. Literally, I've just hit it. Right, let's just, okay, I'm on. So just bang my head up there. That's probably claimed, oh, and my hat's gone. My hat's gone. So now we're in this lower space down here. And there's the panic button over here. I think there's a panic button. <laughs> now, what's this? What's that there? What is that? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a little piece of concrete. But uh, I thought there was a tunnel. But you've got some sort of like uh, little bits in there as well. So, let's see what we've got. Uh, I've got some people coming out in a second. Do you enjoy? Yeah? Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. You coming? No, 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 Okay. All right then. Well, we'll make our way up then. So we've got a few steps up and out into the broad daylight. So I better turn this down. And here we go. This is the best view in Bristol. If you've got a good non scaredy thing of heights. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh dear. That is not not entirely uh, easy to do. Whoa. Whoa. I don't feel very comfortable doing that, but there we go. I don't feel very comfortable. Oh, my head's spinning. My head's spinning. I'm having to hold on to the, the bar on the side, which uh, 
is keeping me sort of safe. But let's just have a look at what we're dealing with here, right? So we're we've come down, we've come down these cliffs. Let's have a look. So we've come down the cliffs here, and we basically oh 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 looking down at that makes my stomach go whoa. So and we've basically come now down and off. Oh oh this this thing's moving under my feet. The the metal grate. Whoa! I don't like it. I don't like it. It's moving. It literally is making funny funny stuff. Oh I don't know. I'm jumping up and down on it. To... Yeah. Yeah. See see the hand? So it's what they call white knuckle. There's the Clifton Suspension Bridge. I believe you might be able to see that. Hopefully. Hopefully. Let's uh let's turn this down. So there we are. Hopefully you can see the Bristol Suspension Bridge. And look at this view. But literally you are standing over the edge looking down at a drop. Probably about three, four hundred feet, maybe five hundred feet, I don't know. Whoa. Whoa. So yeah. This this bit's bent. Oh my god, this bit in the middle is actually bent. I, I'm not kidding you. That there is bent. Now I'm sure it's safe, but it, it definitely adds to the uh, <laughs> to the tension when you realise that this this bit here is bent. Wow. That if you fancy a bit of a scare and you've never been up the Blackpool Tower and you fancy like walking out and looking over the edge of a cliff like this, it's only gonna cost you two pounds fifty in order to be scared. And, and there's a lot above us, there's a lot more that we can't see over the top there. So this is literally on the edge of the cliff. I might fly the drone here later on to kind of show you where we're at. But um yeah. Well, yeah, I, it just it makes me feel better if I'm holding on to this for some strange reason. I don't know why, but uh, yeah. So, I wonder how long it would take you to kind of fall down there. Like if you jumped off, it'd be like one, two, three, three, four seconds maybe. Not good. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that because that would be a bit depressing. So we won't we won't go there. Uh, but let's have a look now back inside, and uh, we can probably turn this back back up to see indoors. There we go. So that's a bit bright, but there we go. So we've got some uh, some little bits there that to stop the birds nesting because they probably poo on people's heads. And there's a few drip drippers coming down. But uh, yeah, it's a hell of a view. It is a hell of a view. And as they say, whoops a daisy, look, look, pigeons. Pigeons, look, they, they use this as their home. So, you know, they've just flown in past me. Uh, eight, maximum of eight persons on the balcony. But um, can you see what I mean? Actually, this is not, these, this bit is not, not very thick. Can you see what I mean? It's like it bends down. So I wonder whether there were more than eight people on, the, on it at that, that time. But it all adds to the uh, excitement. I'm sure it's very safe. I'm sure it's very safe. Well, I hope it is. So I was just on it. So, uh, there we go, folks. Well, that's the Clifton, Clifton Rocks Observatory, Giant's Cave. And there's more of the Giant's Cave inside. So, there you go. And there's more areas that are trying to stop the birds from uh, from roosting. That that looks like it goes up. That looks like it's another passageway. Could be wrong, but that that looks like it goes on. So I wonder if it does actually go on or not. So they've got an emergency emergency panic button here, and I wonder how far that goes up there. Can you see? Can you see up there? Anybody? That looks like it carries on. So, and it goes up here. So that, that's definitely another walkway. Well, maybe it doesn't go far, but it's trying to stop the pigeons from uh, resting. Where did they go? They came in. They haven't come out. I haven't 
haven't seen any come out. Uh, whoops. There's a panic button. Hang on. There's a, uh, there's a panic button which uh, is down here. It says do not use unless in an emergency. And it works, so I'm not going to push that. Even though I know it connects directly to uh, the Jimmy Savile helpline, which I don't really need right now. You know, that's my permanent joke. I might edit that out. Uh, right, so, oh, we've got people on the stairs, look. So, we may have to, no, you're okay. You're okay. No, you're all right. They're having photos, I think. Okay. <laughs> so, let's try to go up without um, hitting my head like I did last time. So, let me see if we can do this. There we go. There's plenty of light and you can bend forward a bit easier when you're going up. Bend. Not too bad. Hi. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. Cheers. Okay. After you. Thank you. Watch your feet. Sorry. <laughs> A bit blinding, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So, you've really got to watch your head and duck down. Lady in front of me doesn't seem to be having the same sort of trouble. few steps. Right, this is very steep. I guess that used to go up into another area, but we won't know that. So. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. But it gets you a bit sweaty. So. I have to go there every morning. You have to do it how many times a day? Well, every morning, every evening. Two times a day. Two times a day. Even upstairs, so. Yeah. Have you ever hit your head? A couple of times. I think I left a piece of me down there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be surprised. Yeah, cheers. And this is the observatory which is what's known as Camera Obscura. Now, the only other place I've ever seen this is in the United States, in San Francisco. And on the, uh, on the boardwalk there, where they've got a little amusement arcade 
and fairground, they had one of these, a camera obscura. What it is, on the top of the building they have a, a lens and a mirror and it shines down onto a surface and then you can see, you can see images from outside projected down through the mirror and through the lens onto a surface. So let's have a little look. Uh, I wish they wouldn't turn the heat on up here because it's really hot. <laughs> After coming in from the bottom, oh, I want to get outside because the cold now. That is really too much clothes on. I'm used to nutty explores. So, I've got an escape plan here to get out. I've got another little room halfway up. And mystery cupboards. Mystery cupboards. This is to the secret, big secret base. Must have a secret base in here somewhere. Secret nuclear bunker? No, probably just a, a cupboard for the, <laughs> the vacuum cleaner, I expect. Ah, now it gets a bit small here. So, and it still goes up. So we're into quite a small bit now. So, let's have a little look. Oh, camera obscura. It says the Observatory's camera obscura is one of only three left open to the public in the UK. It's the most famous because it projects the breathtaking panoramic views of the Clifton Suspension Bridge in the Avon Gorge. So here we are, look, there's a little description of what the camera obscura is and can do. But if you take this one, the image will be upside down. So what they do is they, they take it in at a right angles through a mirror on the top so it points down so you can go all the way around it and therefore it's not upside down. Here we go. Now I'm going to need to go into low light mode here. Open this all the way up. When we go in, this is the, this is the screen that we'll be seeing stuff on in a minute. And up there is the, is the hole with a lens on it, you see? Up there. And what you can do is you can usually spin them round, and this is what this is for, so you can actually turn it round or move it. Ah, uh, yeah, so if I, if I use my hand on this, you see that it moves. It can move this around the edge, so you can actually turn it round. So, at the moment, it's too bright in here with these lights, so I'm gonna close up this little door, close this door, close this door. Now normally most cameras probably wouldn't see this and it takes your eyes a little time to get adjusted to the dark. So I'm going to close the door. So now close the door. Okay. Now then I'm going to turn my light off and let's see what we can see. Ready? Light going off now. Aha! It's a bit, it's a bit dim. It's a bit dim and I think it might be upside down so I'm going to grab hold of the Grab hold of the arm, and yeah, let's just see what we got. Takes your eyes a little while to adjust. Now, I can see, again, I can see through the camera better than I can see there. But if I turn this around, oh look, see how it moves around? And you can see the trees, you can see the trees. But this is a very, this is the highest resolution you'll ever see. This is higher than IMAX because this is real life. You know, this is absolutely pin sharp, pin sharp, so. Let's keep moving it around. Oh look, there's people. There's people over there. Can you see them playing with the football? People playing with the football. Now that's higher than your 4K television. So let's grab the grab the arm again. So I'm reaching for it, but I can't find it. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. So let's keep moving around. You'll find that some, some ways are brighter than others. So, there we go. Whoops. So, does it just go all the way or does it have to, have to go back the other way? So there we are, we've got people with football again, look. And this is, this is concave, this is a concave surface here. Um, to keep it all sharp. Okay, so as we, as we come around, we can see more of the trees. 
I would have thought you'd probably see the Clifton Suspension Bridge at some point. Uh, this is the building itself that we're in now. That's the edge of the building. Okay, so bring that around. Oh no, it's not actually. This is the edge of the cliffs. You can see people walking, walking on the edge of the cliffs. Now remember, this is not a television projector. This is real light. So let's move it around. Let's move it around. Now we're not seeing. We're not seeing too high. I don't know if there's a way that it can. You can bend the mirror up, but uh, I don't know if we can see the Clifton Suspension Bridge. So what have we got here? I don't know if you can actually see that way. Oh, there we go. There's the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Look, there it is. There it goes. There it is. Yeah, look at that. that Clifton Suspension Bridge. Off in the distance, cars going across it, and the river. Yeah. See the cars. See the cars going across. Definitely an interesting way to see Bristol. This is the River Avon. So there you go. Look, there's the edge of the Clifton Suspension Bridge. There. And there's the hotel and the Clifton Rocks Railway is sort of over there as well. So let me see if we can get any more out of it. There we are, that's the hotel. Hotels no, that's that's uh, people's people's houses, sorry. It's people's houses. The hotel's a bit further down and around the corner, but um, there we go. So we're spinning around now, spinning back, and uh, it depends what time of day you come in here. You're going to get more or less light, but you can see very close up to people. You know, you can see up to see if you can kind of see detail. But uh, yeah, so there you go. I can't tell if that's exactly in focus, but it doesn't look too bad. So yeah, camera obscura, and it's one of only three in the United Kingdom, and one of only a few in the world. So light coming in through that lens, and you've got to keep that. Uh, you've got to, got to keep that clean, and the mirror clean to get the maximum amount of light in. There you go. So, camera obscura, folks. Let's, uh, let's open the doors if we can. Now you can see, it's very hard to see the image with the door open, but close the door, the image comes back. So, whoa. And that is a good reason to pick up my hat that was on the floor. So, there we go. But I am hot, 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 so Bristol Museums and Galleries can only open their windows a certain amount. We've got a lovely view of Bristol here and we should put it back in focus, that would help wouldn't it? Nice picture view, picture postcard view of Bristol and And another picture postcard view of Bristol here and through here. It's looking onto the city itself. And if we come over here, we'll have the suspension bridge. So this one may well open. No, it's locked because this is broken. So, but there's the suspension bridge out there. Yeah, very interesting. So, oh, there we go. So we've we've done the interesting grand tour, the grand tour of all the. Oops, hang on. Yeah, so we've done done the interesting tour of all the, the stuff around the observatory. And if you fancy a cup of coffee or tea, and you want to do it in a, an interesting place. This is the place to come, and uh, you know, it doesn't cost you anything to go in the cafe, and just £2.50 if you want to go up there or downstairs, 
So, so pretty good value. So, there we go. I've got to stop saying so. And this is what it looks like from a little model they've got there. Wow. So, I've got to stop saying so. Okay, so we're nearly ready. Lovely and hot up there. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, I'll send you. Uh, I'll send you a link for this. I'll email you something when it's finished, so you can have a look at it on the channel. No okay, thanks a lot. So up here we've got the observatory, as you can see, and basically the steps will take you down and underground, under here, under here and somewhere out over here. I wonder whether you can actually see down. I don't think you can. Let's have a quick look. Ah! Scary. Scary high. So, got another one over here. Let's go and check this one out. So yeah, definitely one to check out if you're in Bristol, because it doesn't cost much. And it's, uh, yeah, it's just one of those little treasures, you know. Everywhere's got a little special something. And the Avon Gorge, and the Clifton Observatory, and the Clifton Suspension Bridge, definitely worth a look.